Well, starting in February, new rules go into effect allowing the government to crack down on credit card companies. The problem is February is three months away, and that means it's down to the wire for credit card companies, and they could pretty much do what they want. And here to share with us for what we need to look out for, or what we can do to find this credit crunch, and this is financial expert Paula Albertson. And, and good morning to you, first of all, for getting morning, with us. We do appreciate it. So, first of all, what, what can, can these credit card companies do? Well, they can almost do anything they want. They can raise your rate, they can lower your credit limit, and they can impose annual fees. We're at their mercy. There's really, is there anything we can do? Well, we're in a catch-22 right now mm -hmm. because we are at their mercy, and it kind of stinks because they can do whatever they want to do. They can. The law takes effect in February 2010, where any credit card company can start raising rates, charging annual fees. Um, on unpaid balances okay. and new balances so that is really tough to know that right now they're trying to raise money in the credit card world and they're doing a great job of doing it. So this, this is frustrating for especially the people who have tremendous credit and right. who are good credit card customers they pay their balances on time they every month comes by they pay their bill on time there's no late fees but they're still going to get hit too correct? They're still going to get hit too yeah, I mean, Keith, for sure they're still going to get hit. And so one thing that you've got to be cautious about doing is calling the credit card company. You know, I say do it with, you know, tender feet because even if you call them, they could, I've, some people have been hit and they've called and they've said, oh, we're going to lower your credit limit or we're going to start imposing higher interest rates. So be careful when you negotiate. I always say when you call, Watch out who you're getting on the phone. I mean, start building a rapport. Don't just call up and say, I'm so mad right. that I'm getting charged with new rates. I mean, really try to build a rapport with that person. We need to walk on some eggshells. What else can we do to protect ourselves? Well, the other thing is obviously reading what we get in the mail. And so many of us just get a laundry list of things. I mean, I opened something from a credit union the other day online, and now my ATM fee is going to go up to 25 cents. And I would never have known it had I not just opened up that, that mail. I ignore that. I do all my stuff I, online. I just ignore it. I do too. I just ignore those messages. And, you know, as a financial advisor, I can't ignore those messages. The other thing is, I had a client come in the other day, excellent credit. Mm -hmm. She got an offer from a credit card company, and she goes, it's a black visa. Now they're trying to compete with American Express, which is very prestigious. Right. And a lot of the athletes and entertainers use that because they need really high limits. Right. Um, she got an offer and she said, I read at the bottom, the fee every year is $395. Oh $395. And I went, you know what, give me your credit card. I'll take my black magic marker and I'll just make you a black yeah, credit no card. Kidding. It's just oh not that prestigious gosh. anymore. I mean, credit cards are a convenience, yeah. and we need to keep them that way. we got to be careful. So when you call, folks, be careful on uh, certainly your, your attitude with, uh, with you don't make anybody mad on the other end. Right. right, and don't use your emergency fund to pay off that credit card. Oh, good advice. All right, financial expert Paula Albertson, thanks very much. Good advice as always. We do appreciate it. Let's head over to Ginger and Chris. All right, thank you, Keith.